when I was 16, I got in a car accident and I, I broke my neck and I died on the operating table and they brought me back. And after that, and this is probably a little weird and I usually don't tell a lot of people this because I get judged, but I started to see things and I started to feel things and I was scared. I was really scared of this and I was terrified and I had nowhere to turn and I found myself in a new age bookstore in East Bridgewater at the time called the Angel's Loft and I met a high priestess there and she was amazing and very loving and kind and she gave me some books to read and I hit it off with her and, and she was, um, you know, she was an older woman, older than me, who had a lot of wisdom and I learned a lot from her. And I started taking uh, what they call a Wicca 101 class with her. And it's kind of your first step into learning more about Wicca, which um, paganism, witchcraft, Wicca, whatever you follow, it's a nature-based religion. And I think a lot of people immediately get freaked out because they think it has something to do with Satan or Satanism is nothing to do with that as a Christian construct that has nothing to do with us. These are the old ways of following nature, finding God and spirituality in the world around you, in nature and in in in, in the creation um, and following the seasons and what that means because it was an agricultural based religion that followed the seasons and gave thanks at certain times of the year for crops and for harvests and fertility. And I found great comfort there. And I found my heart there and I, and I just started researching and I realized that I, there are things I feel and when I feel it resonate, it's the right way for me and other things that maybe I don't. I don't know why I feel so comfortable telling you on a podcast, um, but you tell people this and they think you're a flake. They think that you're a ditz, you're weird, that, oh, she's flaky, she's flighty. They always, they're very quick to dismiss um, other ways of thinking, you know, it's like that scene in, in Pirates of the Caribbean when she hands him a jar of dirt and, and he's like, what is this? It's a jar of dirt. And she's like, well, then give it back. And he's like, no, it's my jar of dirt. Then it works. So uh, uh, yes. it's the same with like crystals. Like, what do those crystals do? I'm like, well, do they make you feel better? Do you feel that they make you feel better? Do you feel that connection? Then they work. Mm -hmm. Like it's really um, individual and, and what you believe in. And it's hard because sometimes I, I've only recently over the last couple of years came out of the broom closet because of the judgment <laughs> that goes along with being a witch.